I think of my little brothers that just started elementary school. By us investing in the future of those children, we're investing in the future of our state. I may not know my donors one-on-one. -on -one. I may never meet them. But I'm very truly grateful because without them, I wouldn't be here. Well, my name is Casey Callahan. I'm a neuroscience major from Ridgefield, Washington. So I wake up early. <laughs> I make the trek on the bus, climb the hills and all that kind of stuff. I get through all my classes and that takes up the good morning portion of my day. And then I'll go to labs after that. Like right now I'm in a neurophysiology lab and I'm in a neuroanatomy lab. I founded my own neonatal health club. We work to raise money for research and other charities. So yeah, that's my day. I want to be a doctor. I feel like it's the most worthwhile thing for me to do with my life. I'd like to first be a naval flight surgeon, you know, go see the world and serve my country. I'd like to you know, come back, especially to the Northwest, most likely Washington, and give back to the community. At the end of high school, I experienced a personal tragedy with the death of a few of my friends in a very tragic crash. I got very, very internal, um, and I kind of started to realize what was important to me in life. And so I realized that life was so short that I don't want to spend life worrying about something that to me would seem petty. I kind of feel like saving someone's life or helping to heal someone's pain I felt like that was honestly the most worthwhile thing I could do with my life. To succeed here, you have to be willing to work. I've seen students a million times smarter than me who are just not motivated and just drop like flies. The undergrad research experience here is pretty much unheard of. Dr. Kristoff Chaya, he's been a great mentor. I'm laying down the groundwork to tackle America's obesity problem right now. It's a pretty cool experience that not a lot of people do until they've, they're in graduate school. My name is Monica Santos and I am majoring in marketing uh, here at WSC Vancouver. My hometown is Oaxaca, Mexico. When I was nine years old, I moved to Vancouver, Washington, and then to La Center. What motivates me is my mom. She had seven children. She never went to college. But she always told me that I had to because she wants better possibilities for me. When I was a senior, I started getting all these questions about where I was going to go to school, looking at tuition costs. I could either get a job, a low-paying job, an entry position somewhere, um, and build my way up, or I would go to college instead, sacrificing a lot, getting a couple part-time jobs, trying to figure out how I was going to pay next semester. Starting school was very difficult for me, and learning how to uh, take initiative and, and actually applying for scholarships and putting myself out there for people to sort of judge whether I was eligible or not, whether I was worthy enough, it was tough. To be successful here at WSC Vancouver, you have to have initiative. Last year, I ran for student body vice president. We campaigned probably for like four months, went to every single student event possible, and in the end, we came out 10 votes short. And it was horrible. It was one of the, like, I think one of the biggest public failures I've ever had. However, the support of the staff and faculty was amazing, you know? You have to be willing to take chances and take risks because the rewards that come out of it are gonna be unforgettable and very much worth it. We have a lot of first-generation college students in this area. I like to talk to people that are just starting college or that are thinking about starting college because they may not know how to do it. So my story is relatable to a lot of other students and if I can inspire them to go to college, I mean, I think that not only will I feel good about what I'm doing, but also I know that it's gonna make a difference in their lives. 
my name is Anna Clifford. I am originally from Anthony, New Mexico, and ultimately here in Richland. I first started out working as a research assistant at um, Hanford Environmental Health, and then I kept having kids and <laughs> have four, and the stress got to be too much. And then I decided that my kids needed me, my, my family needed me at home, and so I decided to stay home and raise my kids. You know, I had to make a living, and so I got a job at Benton Franklin Head Start. I wanted to make sure I had a job forever. <laughs> what Head Start was looking for was all their teachers having a BA. WSU Online offered something that I could be working, taking care of my family, and going to school at the same time. I majored in human development. I chose it because I want people to understand that life is important, right from the beginning to its very end. I think the most important part that I do is making sure that kids know that they are loved when they come in there. When people give you a scholarship, some people may think of it as a giveaway but it's really not, it's an investment. When someone gives you a scholarship, it mentally is like fuel, and it kind of helps fuel the fire. It helps you know that you're doing something worthwhile. You can't say that people won't be great just because they don't go to college, but they just have so much more possibility if they do go to college. So many kids go to school and need help. Being a college student in the modern time it takes a lot more money than it did 10, 20, 30 years ago. Receiving the several scholarships that I have have been very beneficial to me. I mean, they paid for my books, they've paid for a lot of things that mentally get relieved once I find out there's, there's support that people care about me. They believe in me and there's other people out there that, that have that same belief because of that. I want to do my best. You made the difference in me being somebody or me being just another statistic. To give me the possibility to be somebody that I feel proud of, I hope one day you get to see me somewhere or read about me and, and I make you proud. That's what WSU can offer to Washington State.